In this video for positive maths, we're going to learn about integers. Okay, so we're remembering that integers are all positive and negative whole numbers, including zero. If we're talking about whole numbers, it means, for example, that they're one, two, three. If we have negative numbers, it could be minus one, minus two, minus three. We're not including fractions. We're not including any numbers with a decimal. So to plot these on a number line, again, because they're whole numbers, we're using just dots at the points where the numbers are. So minus 5, going all the way up to 5 on this number line. And the arrows at either end indicate that it goes on to infinity. So what we're noticing here is that numbers get bigger as they move to the right. And the numbers get smaller as they move to the left. We need to be careful in saying really bigger and smaller here because some people think, well, 5 is a bigger number, but it's not 5 by itself, it's minus 5. So minus 5 is on the left, so that means all of the numbers on the right are bigger than minus 5. If we take 4, all of the numbers to the right of 4 are going to be smaller. So let's go through addition and subtraction of integers. When the signs are the same, we add and we keep the sign of the bigger number. Okay, so or we keep the sign. So for our example 1, plus 6 plus 4 gives us plus 10. So the signs are the same. We keep the sign and we add the numbers. Example 2. Again, the signs are the same. We keep the sign and we add the two numbers. So minus 6 minus 4 will give us minus 10. When the signs are different, we subtract and we keep the sign of the bigger number. So our examples. Different signs. We have minus 8 plus 4. We subtract the numbers and we get 4 and we keep the sign of the bigger number. Our second example, plus 8 minus 4. Again, different signs means we subtract and we keep the sign of the bigger number so we keep the plus. The best thing to do when getting familiar with addition and subtraction when it comes to integers is to use your number line. You can draw a really quick number line at the side of your page, fill in whatever numbers you're dealing with, and let that help you. So, for example, if you're saying 2 minus 3, you're going 2. You know, if you're subtracting, you're going to the left. So that's minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So 2 minus 3 will give you minus 1. So again, our signs here are different. We've subtracted the numbers and we've kept the sign of the bigger number. Okay, multiplication of integers then. These are really the rules that we follow. Again, if it's the signs are the same, we keep the sign. So a plus multiplied by a plus is going to give us a plus. Minus by a minus gives us a plus. So we can say that like signs, so signs that are the same, give us a plus. Like signs give us a plus. So now let's look when the signs are different. So we have a plus multiplied by a minus is going to give us a minus. And a minus multiplied by plus is going to give us a minus. So we say unlike signs give us a minus. So like signs give us a plus. Unlike signs give us a minus. And really it's the same for division. If we're dividing signs that are the same, so a plus divided by a plus, or a minus divided by a minus, then we end up with a plus. So again, like signs give a plus. If we're dividing different signs, so plus divided by a minus, or a minus divided by a plus, then we end up with a minus. So unlike signs give a minus. So keeping these two rules in mind, they will apply for both multiplication and division. 
These rules also apply to all of the numbers, so natural numbers, integers, real numbers, rational numbers. Okay, so let's go through some examples. Let's talk about our addition and subtraction first of all. So let's say plus 10 plus 2. Signs are the same. Sorry, plus 10 plus 12. Signs are the same. We add them, we keep the sign. So we get plus 22. Let's say plus 10 minus 2. Signs are different. We subtract and we get 8 and we keep the sign of the bigger number. Let's try some multiplication. 6 multiplied by 4. Same signs, that means it gives us a plus. We multiply to get 24. Minus 7 multiplied by 3. Different signs gives us a minus. We multiply the numbers, we get 21. Okay, 4 divided by 2. Both plus signs, that means we get a plus for our answer. We divide the numbers, we get 2. Minus 8 divided by 2. Different signs gives us a minus. Divide the numbers, we get 4. Minus 10 divided by minus 5. The same sign again. We, that means it gives us a plus. So like signs give us a plus. 10 divided by 5 will give us 2. Let's see, minus 2. We'll say plus 2 divided by minus 4. We have different signs, so that gives us a minus. 2 divided by 4, we can simplify that down as 1 over 2. So our answer is going to be minus a half or minus 0 0.5. For more videos or any information, you can find us at www.positivemaths.e. You can email us at info at positivemaths.e. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching.